All right, taking a look here, obviously it's easy to tell where these propellers go. Right, silver to silver, black to black, not an issue. Come over here, take a look at the chromas. Both prop nuts are silver. So what I do is I line up the arrow that is labeled by each brushless motor with the same locking arrow that is on these propellers. In this particular case, the B propellers are going to be silver. And the A propellers are going to be black. Now what I find with these is you got to be very careful not to cross thread them. They do slide on there, but you can cross thread them fairly easy. Alright, taking a look at the master air screw. Again, the only thing you can do, because there are no markings or anything on these propellers, is you have to take a look at the downside. So that down pitch is basically always how we tighten them. So this would be tightening. So therefore this one would go on the black. The other one, spinning like this, following the arrows by each brushless motor, will go on the silver. Stock propellers. Tip on me. <laughs> so sixty five hundred to seven thousand. Yeah, about sixty eight hundred. Master air screw. Yep, 5,000 we're taking off. Okay, here we got the chroma props. Wow, picking up pretty. Oh yeah, 4,400 or so. Move it around at about four grand to forty four hundred. Okay, let's do half throttle test. Okay, quick thoughts. Master air screw props go up in the air at 50%. They appear to be very stable inside the house. Okay, 50% throttle. Holy! Wow! Oh wow, I'm just taken away here.
Okay, 50% throttle takes the drone right off the ground. There's some play. There's the wind. Master air screw. Whoa, baby! <laughs> Here's the master air screw props. Just got done flying. I'm seeing about 88 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit on the motors. These props do pretty good. They're responsive. 50% throttle in stabilized mode. It does go off the ground. Okay, right after the flight. Eighty six, eighty four, same amount of flight time. Perhaps these stock ones don't have as much of a pitch. Eighty six was in there, I think. Typically eighty two. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like the brushless motors heated up as much with the stock props. Again, I don't know if we're truly in a lab environment here or anything, but we're getting an idea. Okay, again, A is black, B is silver. We have them on there. They're not cross-threaded. The white looks neat. Let's go ahead and get it up in the air. See how stable it is in the wind. Okay, chroma props. Totally different sound. Almost a squeaking sound, although slightly more quiet. So on the GoPro in the wide view, I can see the legs shaking a little bit, but the video itself is pretty stable. It's just as stable as Master Air Screw and the stock props. Oh, there we go. Using a little bit of altitude there. Okay. All right, not bad. I'll go ahead and bring it back in. Okay, just got it down. Oh, geez. That's kind of what I was thinking. Upwards of 90, 93. I saw 100 just a second ago. Okay, 91, 88. Okay, so for about the same flight time, man, these did get pretty warm. In comparison now, maybe a few degrees, degrees is not enough to worry about, but... 88. Jeez, 98. So if you would ask me what my favorite propeller would be, I'd go with the stock 3DR propellers. The stock propellers fit onto the drone great. Uh, they're fairly stable for what they are and the drone flies really well with those propellers. Uh, the next runner-up for me would be the Master Air Screw. 
Now the only complaint I have about the master air screw is you got to have these prop nuts. And sometimes they take a little bit longer for me to put on. I'm fumbling around trying to get it on the drone. I find that these stock propellers are that much easier. And lastly, the chroma. I wouldn't suggest these propellers. They fit. You can fly the drone. But there's some shaking and a potential for extra heat on the brushless motors.